What's up everyone? Thank you for stopping by and checking out another video. I got some exciting news and I am actually heading to pick up a uh, Canon ADD. Uh, it, it is used but uh, it was posted for sale and uh, the price was just unbeatable so I had to go and uh, check it out and sure enough I am buying it today. So yeah, that's where I'm on my way. Alright, I am pulling in right now to, uh, to meet her, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, buy this thing. Let's go. let's go. Almost hit her. All right, we got it. I just wanted the bigger frame now that my whole hand can sit on it, so that's a plus. Um, I put a 17 to 50 on it. Not gonna leave it on there, I'm gonna put the art lens on here. But uh, just uh, filling it, man, guys, this feels awesome. I am super excited about this. So, uh, quick uh, rundown. She had it listed for $800, guys, and you're talking about a about a thousand dollar body and uh, she had it listed for eight hundred dollars and I went in at six hundred knowing that she'll probably come down and she did she came down to seven hundred tried to get her to six fifty but uh, that didn't work so I settled at seven hundred I figured it was a steal uh, the shutter count was under twenty five thousand and uh, these cameras will last right around a hundred little over a hundred thousand uh, on the shutter so like I said, I thought it was a steal, and uh, man, I'm I'm super excited to have it, really. The Canon SL2 is probably going to stay my video camera, and uh, this right here is just strictly going to be for photos. So, yeah, let's go ahead and head home, and uh, yeah, we'll show it a little more. All right, so we are back inside of the office, guys, and here it is, my Canon 80D with the uh, Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter art. Uh, I've taken a couple pictures with it and it's produced some uh, really good pictures so far. Um, there's still a little tweaking. I'm going to recalibrate the uh, Sigma lens that way I can get the focus spot on. But uh, yeah, let me tell you a few things on why uh, I guess I ultimately chose to get a new camera and not purchase another lens. And that is going to be the uh, the fill of the camera. Um, the Canon SL2 has a very small grip, and whenever I would hold that one, my pinky would not uh, go on the grip. Sometimes, depending on how I held it, uh, I might even miss uh, my ring finger as well. So the Canon 80D, however, you can see it holds my entire hand. Uh, and it just fits well in the in the hand. Uh, so I think uh, that's what really led me into the ADD uh, was just the the size of it. And uh, I had gone back and forth with uh, the ADD or the Canon EOS uh, RP, which is the new mirrorless camera. And uh, I just I don't know. Like I said, I, I wanted the size. Uh, I was looking at the RP, and then I would have to buy the grip for it. Uh, which wasn't a big deal, but uh, I'm not necessarily ready to make the jump into the uh, mirrorless lineup for Canon simply because of the lack of glass. Uh, so I stayed with the DSLR. Uh, like I said earlier, I bought this one. It has uh, 25 under under 25,000 on the uh, shutter. So I still have over half of the life to go, uh, which is a a win for me if if I uh, if I'm thinking about it because I only spent $700 on this. And uh, this can or this camera retails for 
uh, right around a thousand if I was to buy it brand new. And uh, yeah, I mean, to spend seven hundred dollars and to still have almost seventy five percent of the uh, life remaining, I think that's a win for me. So uh, yeah, like I said, that's ultimately why I chose this camera. Also, another benefit is of the uh, the uh, autofocus points on the inside. The Canon SL2, it's a great beginner's camera and I, I'm not bashing that camera at all whatsoever, so don't mistake me uh, or what I'm saying. Um, but it has nine autofocus points and so when you're trying to take pictures from frame to frame, it is extremely hard uh, to, I guess, line your subjects up if you want them on the corners like that. Simply because of uh, what the Canon SL2 does is it has a diamond shape and it looks like this like that and so that's basically uh, that's where your autofocus points are whereas the ADD has from right here on the frame to right here on the frame and it kind of makes this shape yeah you get the point but uh, how many dots it has I'm not too sure but uh, there's quite a few and I'm able to basically select which one I want if I want to go selective autofocus uh, I can select a section uh, in thirds or I can select the middle I can select autofocus to where it does it automatically uh, there's just different modes of autofocus that I can I can control whereas the SL2 uh, you have nine points so you don't have that many options uh, but yeah so another thing that was a benefit was the screen on top uh, that'll that'll come in handy uh, the buttons up top it's a lot more accessible um, it'll, this right here will take some getting used to which is the uh, the screen over here the SL2 is bare minimum in what it offers uh, but yeah the, the dial is a little bit bigger and you actually have to push in to turn uh, not a big deal at all it actually makes it quite uh, quite user friendly because you can't change your set or your modes uh, unless you want to so, uh, like I said, I've taken a few pictures on it. I'm, uh, I'm not going to say I'm impressed with it because the photo quality is basically the same. It's got a few more megapixels than the Canon SL2. I didn't purchase the camera necessarily for the photo quality because, like I said, it's not going to jump anywhere higher or lower than the uh, Canon SL2. Uh, the video quality is going to be the exact same. It still has 60 frames per second and 24 frames per second. It also does 30 uh, if you want to do 30, but I only use 60 and 24. Uh, so other than that, like I said, everything really stayed the same. It's a little bit faster, shoots more frames per second, and uh, it has the autofocus points from frame to frame, and uh, the grip is bigger. That's 100% why I bought this camera. Uh, so yeah, um, thanks for guys for watching. I know this video wasn't really interesting, I guess, uh, but that's what I did today, and uh, I brought you along with it. So. Well, yeah, guys, so that's really all I did today. I brought you along with it. Thanks, you, Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. If you have any questions about the camera, if you want me to review anything on the ADD, I know it's a couple years old already, but uh, if you have any questions about it, uh, please feel free to leave that in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe. If you like these videos, I post a video just like this once a week. And uh, I will see you in the next one, guys. See you later.